Hi, it's Alex. I want to talk today about influencing other people. And I want to share how I feel about this, and I want to respond to a viewpoint that I'm hearing voiced increasingly more, online especially. And I've also heard it voiced in person. So how do I feel? I care a lot about influencing people, and I'm pretty open about this. Uh, the whole idea of this channel is that I want to share ideas with people, share knowledge, share experiences. I want to promote what I think of as healthy ways of thinking. I'm hearing a viewpoint out there in society that I find really troubling, which is people kind of admitting that they don't want to influence people, and that they don't care about influencing people, and I want to share how this comes up. I see a lot of really disrespectful dialogue, especially on social media. I see it all over my Facebook. People bashing their political opponents, or bashing people who they see as doing things that they think are harmful. So like a really common one, nowadays a lot of liberals are really bashing Republicans and conservatives, and especially bashing supporters of Trump and the sort of Trump movement. Uh, I see it also on the conservative perspective, like people bashing liberals, and I've seen that for a long time too. And sometimes I come into these discussions, and I'm like, hey, you're being kind of disrespectful. Do you think that you are really going to get through to these people? Do you think you're really going to influence anyone to change their viewpoint? And I also, I hear other people speaking up and saying that kind of thing. And I like this, I think it's important to voice that concern. Because I think that people do li listen more when they're treated respectfully. The thing that really troubles me is that I've been increasingly hearing people respond to this sort of statement by saying, I don't care about influencing these people. I'm not trying to get through to these people. I'm not trying to influence them. I'm not directing my comment at them at all. These people will say, I'm directing this comment at the people who already hold my views, and I want to kind of rally support for my viewpoint, and I also want to show solidarity and support for whatever group of people is negatively affected by this other group's actions. So this is the thing that I hear people saying. And this bothers me on so many levels. Like, people are explicitly supporting this idea of the echo chamber, where you're only talking to people who already hold your views. To me, it seems like a given that this whole echo chamber is a bad thing. Like, people have talked about it a lot, how social media has created this environment where people surround themselves with people who hold the same viewpoints that they do, and it's like closing people off from people who have different viewpoints. I see this as a major problem. I think that there's a lot lost when people get segregated into these camps. To me, that seems pretty obvious. And it's troubling to me when people react this way to sort of my or other people's accusations of being disrespectful. It's troubling to me when they react by saying, yeah, I'm trying to make this an echo chamber. That's like their intention. Like, that really, really bothers me. This is never my intention. I always want to engage with people who have different viewpoints, and I want to influence them. So I would encourage you to stop and think critically about this. Like, have you ever voiced that viewpoint yourself? Uh, do you see other people voicing it? I want to start openly saying, I really want to engage in dialogue with people who have different viewpoints from my own. And I want to treat them with respect, and I want to influence them, and I'm also open to them influencing me. That's how I feel. Uh, I would encourage you to embrace that viewpoint. I think it would solve a lot of problems in our society. Yeah, thank you.